Africa is experiencing a new change. The youth are awakening to a reality of the devastation of their countries and are demanding for a revolution in leadership. Gone are the days of a yes generation, and just like many more young, vibrant leaders, there is a possibility the rest of the continent is catching up. For the past 35 years, Uganda's election has been marred with brutality against the competitors of the long-serving President Yoweri Museveni, a man who fought his way to the top leadership by using military and is still using them and the police to stop anyone who tries to challenge him in the election. African presidents are elected to the management of the African Union and the East African community who have been silent in the plight of Africans being oppressed by their leaders who cling to power. But youth leaders advise that for there to be a change in Africa, the leaders elected need to change. The leadership of that body is rotational. It's the president of Kenya, the president of Uganda, the president of Tanzania. It is like that. So there's no way the president of uh, Uganda is going to cling on to power and tomorrow is the chairman of the, of, of the East African Assembly and then he will be able to point out to another leader who is clinging on to power. It, it definitely will not work. So because the leadership is the same, so the, the, it's the, the tree is the same, the roots are the same, the branches are the same, so definitely it, it will always be the same scenario across. So it, will point, it comes to a point where we have to change the leadership of Africa. We have to change our leadership. For us to then see efficiency in administration, even in the African Union, even in the East Africa. In my view. To young people, Bobby Wine and Julius Malema of South Africa is a symbol of new change sweeping through the continent. Also a rise of some youthful leadership uh, in Africa. Make a case of Bobby Wine in, in, in Uganda. And he has been able to awaken the Ugandan dream. He has been able to awaken the consciousness. I think the people in Uganda today are more conscious. Whether he will win the, the, the election is neither here nor there. We, we can't really tell. But one thing we are sure is that he has awakened the consciousness. He has made Uganda be able to now come up and say, it's time. He has made Museveni be able to be pushed to the wall. Even if the, the, the president of Uganda rigs this election, or even if he pushes himself into office today, I'm sure at the back of his mind he is aware that times have changed and it's not business as usual. This is the reality. Africa has a long way to go to true liberation, but there's a change coming. And Bobby Wine is an example of that change. New decade means new ideas, even a revolution. Reporting for Switch TV, my name is Joanne Kutun. Now to South Korea, where South Korea...